It's Be Savage. Today I'm going to show you how I got this cute flame nail design. Recently I did a little Amazon shopping for nail art brushes and this is what I found. So before we get into this tutorial, I'm going to show you these nail art brushes. In this first pack you get 8 nail art brushes with the pink handle and then you get 3 of the small ones. The pink ones have all of these different shapes and sizes for you to be able to make different flower designs. They also have an ombre brush in here. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I love sharing a little bit of positivity, so I'm gonna share a quote with you that I saw this week. Acknowledge all of your small victories. They'll eventually add up to something great. This was just a reminder for me, look at your progress, look at how far you've come, and don't forget that you've got a lot of small victories along your nail journey. In this pack, I also had these three nail brushes. They are finer, more like detail brushes, and they're pretty short. While I was shopping on Amazon, I also found some nail art brushes that had a bit of a longer bristle to them, so that's why I ended up purchasing these. I really like them because I like the handle, and I like the fact that they're long nail art brushes. If you're interested in purchasing anything that I used in this video, it will be in the description box. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. This last set of nail art brushes I bought literally just because they had caps. Like I never see on Amazon where the nail art brushes have a top on them, but the top did have a hole in it. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I really like these brushes. They came in a bunch of different shapes. I want to begin to work on like my one stroke flowers. So that'll probably be a video that's coming soon. Next, I begin to size my Gelix tips. Rough the inside of the nail. Thin out the cuticle area. For this, I'm just using a regular 100, 180 grit file. I use the Gelix prep and I put that inside all of the wells of the nail. Now that my tips are fully prepped, I go ahead and prep my own nails. Using a medium grit sanding band, I go ahead and I rough up the surface of the nail. Using a pointy drill bit, I remove any of the dead skin from the cuticle area. I really do love this drill bit because I feel like it's easy to get up in that cuticle area. Then I apply pH bonder to all of my nails. Next, I apply the primer to all of my nails. I use the Extend Gel Color Insatiable for these nails. I love this color, it's probably my favorite one. I make sure to cure it in the light for 60 seconds and this is what they look like. Then I apply the Extend Gel to the well of the nail. I make sure to cover it pretty much completely where my nail would be and then I go ahead and add a little extra so that there is enough for it to totally coat my nail. I am using sculpted tips and because I have flat nail beds sometimes you have to add a little bit extra in there to make sure that it is totally full. After I do that I cure it in the light for 10 seconds just to be able to get the nail to adhere and then I stick it in the light for 60 seconds. This is what it looked like when I had all the nails on. Then I put two coats of the extend gel under each nail to be able to make it a full covered nail in that insatiable color. I also put some top coat underneath so I didn't have any stickiness. I wrapped up the surface of the nail so that the gel paint had something to stick to. To get to these flames, I'm gonna grab my Young Nails white gel paint and some neon yellow pigment, mix them together and see what we get.
a little bit of time putting some designs on my other nails, but I'm almost certain you came here for the flames, so let's get into that. I start at the top of the flame and I make a wavy line down. Then I go back to the top of the flame and I make another wavy line that kind of mimics the first one, but is a little separate from it to give that flame a little bit of width. So when I started working on these flames, it was a bit of a challenge. I am right-handed, I'm using my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand, to be able to draw these flames. And on top of that, I was drawing the flames upside down because there was no way I was gonna be able to hold my hand straight and have a place for my pinky to rest to make sure that my hand was stable. Once I got that flame exactly how I wanted it, I began to create a U shape so that we could go back up and do it all over again. I started off using these short brushes. I think short brushes are actually really easy to use because you're able to control your product a little bit better, at least for me. Of course, it is super important, like I've said in previous videos, to have a photo image of what you want these to look like. The photo I went off of was actually just a drawing that I did that had some flames on it. I'll go ahead and let you watch this, but if you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments section. I do respond and read all of them. Once I get my outline all together, I fill it in with the yellow gel paint. When I finish filling in those flames, I'm curing them in the light for 60 seconds. I make sure to do a second coat on top of those flames and then I apply some top coat once I'm done. And then this is what the nails look like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.